We're on Baba Batra, Perak Bet, Mishnah Gimel. Third Mishnah in the second chapter of Masechet Baba Batra. We're continuing to discuss a halachod of a person acting in his own property that affects people around him. And uh, halacha limits your ability to uh, negatively affect those around you. So says the Mishnah, Lo yiftach adam chanut shel nachtomim v'shel tzabaim tachat otzaro shel chavero. Okay, let's say I have, well, a, we have, you know, two stores or two, two rental spaces, one below the other. So on the top, a guy has his otzar. He has a storehouse for his, for his produce, for his wheat, for his whatever. Okay, so the guy on the bottom who owns the bottom house, the bottom warehouse, lo yiftach can't open a chanut shel nachtomim, a bakery, or a tzabaim, or a diary where they die, die a dyeing factory. Why? Because you have to cook in those areas, and it creates heat, and the heat rises, and it'll ruin the produce on the top. The smoke, the steam that rises from the store, whether it's the baker or the dye factory, okay, is difficult, is bad for the produce. Okay? Similarly, you can't open it up and have a, have a, have a, um, a refet, there's a barn for cattle down there. Okay, but be'emet, be'emet, but in truth, be'yayin hitu, you can have a, if there's wine above there, in the wine house, if there's a wine storage above house, they permit it. A below refet bakar, but you can't have a refet even up below, even below the wine storage. Why is the wine okay? Okay, because the chom, the, the heat, the ashan, the smoke is not bad for wine. Ja'chom mashbiach la'yayin sheba Eretz Yisrael. Because in Eretz Yisrael, where the mission was written, they, they ascertained that the heat that rises, the steam that rises was good for the wine. And if you know that the heat is bad, even in wine, you go against the Mishnah. Meaning the Mishnah only talks about the case of a Yayin Hitiru in case where you know it's good. But if your store is going to damage the store above you or vice versa, then you can't open, the, meaning one, basically the principle is, you can't open a store in your property if it's going to damage, if the, if the, if the, if the effect is going to damage the, the stores around you. Similarly, let's say a guy wants to open a store in the chatzer. The chatzer is the shared courtyard. Uh, and this is something that's very, very common. I want to open a store in my private home. So a co, a person who shares the courtyard with you, someone who, a co-resident, a resident uh, neighbor can say, I can't sleep during the day. It's my siesta time. I can't sleep when people are coming and going all the time. Or parking, for example. I can't imagine. A person has a store, and the people are coming and parking in front of my house all the time. That's a tircha. At least that's a little pet peeve of mine. Aval osek kelim, but he can make vessels, meaning I can build stuff in my part of the courtyard. Yotze umerche betoch hashuk, and then I take them and sell them in the marketplace. Aval eno yacholim chot v'yado v'lo marlo, and the neighbor can't say in that case, eno eni yacholishon lo mikol apatish v'lo mikol abeichayim, Says he can't say, <clears throat> listen, I can't sleep because you're, b- you're banging all the day. Or you have your rechaim, your grinder is grinding all day. If a guy wants to teach children, the children are, I can't, stay, I can't sleep because those kids are making noise all day. The Bartinur explains, the Gemara says, not any kind of school is permitted. Beit Rabban. Beit Rabban means Torah. Even though it's a lot of noise, Lo matzimache. You can't be moche. You can't. Uh, you can't protest. Vishum yagdil to Rabbi Yadir. Because in that case, yagdil Torah. He wants his children to learn. But the imenu malamei tinakot Torah. If he's not teaching Torah, ella umnut. Rather a skill. O cheshbon. Cheshbon is math. O tishberet. I don't think tishberet might be geometry. I'm not sure. If you know, let me know. Matzimache. Then you can be moche and say, "Eni yochalishon vivnei atinakot shenichlisim liyotim." I can't sleep. They're going in and out all day. So if it's Torah. What can you do? You have to learn Torah. Anything else? The neighbor can say, sorry, you're not zoned for a school. I can't sleep. We'll stop here. If you have any comments or questions, or you know what Tishborit is, email me at rspolter at gmail.com. Have a great day.